Hey there guys, welcome back long back. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you are updated to my next coming vlogs. So now, I will teach you how to level up your PowerPoint presentation using 3D images. Okay? So, and I will also teach you how to use more transition. So let us all start now. Watch this, guys. See ya. Okay, guys. Welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Dot, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo, and today we will have our new topic, which is all about how to put and add animations in 3D images in PowerPoint presentation. So we are going to put these 3D images inside our PowerPoint and level up our presentation. Now, are you ready? So I will show you first some examples of the 3D images about this topic. So, here are the steps in making 3D images very interesting. Number one, you should have internet to download the 3D images. That's very important. Number two, open your PowerPoint presentation 2010 or whatever it is. Uh, but I know that you should have your 2010 and above. Number three, go to insert tab of the ribbon. Then step four, select 3D icon to insert. Step five, choose 3D images for your presentation. So when you open the 3D icon over there, you will see a lot of 3D images there and you can search. Okay. And step six, use the morph transition. So, you will see later on what is a morph transition. And step 7, show your presentation and see the difference. Okay? So, this is an example of a 3D animation in this topic. I will show you about the internal organs. So, this is a combination of animations, links, and 3D images. And at the same time, with action. So I have your internal organs such as the kidney, liver, blood cells, lungs, and digestive tract. So when we click it, for example, the kidney. So as you can see, the 3D images is now moving because the 3D images, you can uh, rotate it, whatever you want. Okay. And then this is a link. Let's go home. There you go. And then let's click liver. See? You can uh, see the transition and that's the morph transition that is only available for 3D images. Okay, let's go back home and then let's see blood cells. See how you can combine those uh, animations, actions, and uh, some 3D animations. Okay, so let's go home again and let's click lungs. There you go, that's a morph transition. And then let's go home. Okay. And then last part, let's click the digestive tract. Okay. So you can use your 3D presentation to make your topic very interesting with your students. So making those 3D images move such as like that one. Oh no. Your students will love it so much. Okay. So we will have an, an example for this kind of presentation. So, at this moment, I will teach you the step-by-step -step on how to put and add animations in 3D images in your PowerPoint presentation to level up and develop your PowerPoint. So, a while ago, I've shown you the different steps. So, we have seven steps and now we will apply those steps. Number one, you should have the internet because you need internet for you to download the 3D images. Then open your PowerPoint presentation 2010 or 13, 16, or you have 2019, that's okay. Then go to the insert tab. This is the insert tab, okay? Then click it. Then select the 3D models or the 3D icon over here, okay? So when you click the 3D models, if you have the internet, it will give you an access to these different 3D images. So you can choose 
whatever 3D images that you wanted to insert in your presentation. And then you can also search, I guess, once I search Buzz Lightyear and they have Buzz Lightyear. Let's try. Hey Buzz, are you there? Oh, Buzz Lightyear, it's not. Okay, there's no Buzz Lightyear, I guess. Let's try Toy Story. Oh, there you go. There are toys, but there's no Buzz Lightyear over here. Okay, so for example, this one. Okay, so you can uh, search online. There you go. So those are the different toys that is related to your 3D images. So you can select it, whatever you want. And then right after that, when you already chosen your 3D images, put it in your presentation. Just click OK. Then use the morph transition. So uh, you can see here in the transition over here, Okay, there is a special transition that is only available for 3D images, which is the morph. The one that you saw a while ago, while the images is like they're going to become big, like zooming, zoom in, zooming out, something like that. That is a morph. Okay, so when you already did that to all your presentation, show your presentation and then see the difference. Like what I've told you a while ago. So we have here like this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And now, we will apply it here in celestial bodies. So I already chosen these different celestial bodies such as the Earth, the Sun, the Moon, and Saturn. So to put there, okay, we need to connect it to different slides. So for example, this one, Earth, okay? Let's insert an action, okay? This is the action icon. Click it, and then hyperlink. Then choose slide. Right after that, choose earth, this one. Then, okay, so that when you click it, oh, you can also choose sound. And then let's try click. Okay, then okay, meaning to say when you click the earth a while uh, later on, when you post it, or when you present it, then it will link to you to the earth slide. Okay, next we have the sun. Again, action. Then hyperlink to choose slide. Then connect it to the sun slide. Then click okay. Then play sound if you want. Then click sound. Then we have the moon. Again, same action. Hyperlink. Then slide. Moon. Okay, so if you don't want uh, to put sound, it's okay. Then we have Saturn. Action. Hyperlink. Slide. Saturn. And then click OK. You don't want any sounds. It's OK. Click OK. There you go. So meaning to say when we present it and then when we click Earth, Sun, Moon, and Saturn, it will bring you to its respective slides. Okay? So as you can see here in my next slide, I put these celestial bodies at the left side. Okay? So that there's uh, kind of something like a dramatic motion when you do the morph. It's like the images or the 3D images are like zooming out, zooming in, zooming out, zooming in. As you choose one image to another that will link you to the other slide. Okay? So you can uh, do some of those dramatic and, uh, you know, artistic movement. Because morph, oh no, it's a good transition. Okay, so we should remove the earth over here. Okay, let's delete it. And then I did also to the other slide. So I removed the sun because the sun 
need to be enlarged here and then I remove the moon here so that it will be like the moon like become enlarged and then I remove the Saturn here so that the Saturn become enlarged too so this is what we call the home button so the home button is like also an action you insert the shape over here you insert the shape and then if you want to make an action so just click the shape go to action and then hyperlink to choose the slide celestial body meaning to say that is the home for celestial body when you click home it will bring you to this home slide okay so we're going to copy Control c and then let's paste it paste it over there paste it over there and paste it over there meaning to say that when you click the home it will always go back to your home slide okay did you get it and now let's present our final product for 3d animations inserting morph transition so here I will show you how to turn your 3d images so you can see this image it's like a rotating image over here okay you just go there and then rotate your 3d images see it's cool so same as with the other 3d images that you have you can also rotate them into different sides or different positions okay so this one you can also rotate it like that so let's go back to this so you can rotate the kidney there you go you can see the back okay the top the bottom the sides there you go so whatever part of the 3d image that you wanted to see and uh, this one is very cool in the liver oh man you can see the bile <laughs> see it's very cool so that's how you rotate your 3d images okay and now let's see the final product of our 3d presentation in celestial body see ya this is now the final product of our 3d images presentation so let's check it out so let us first click the earth and see how more transition gives a dramatic and artistic motion to your 3d images see it's cool and then let's click home to go back and then let's click Sun there you go and then let's go back home again and this time it's the moon's turn see so cool and then let's go home and then let's choose Saturn there you go so you can also rotate your 3d images and whatever sides you wanted them to face like you can rotate it towards north toward east or west something like that towards your left and right up and down like their back and their front that's why it's 3d so when you click it as you can see it's rotating okay it's giving you the entire sides of the 3d image or the 3d images let's go back home and then there you go I hope you learned something for these 3d images and they are cool I hope you will apply it in your presentation and enjoy and see 
your class will become more motivated in learning science or in all subjects. And there you go guys. Thank you so much my fellow educators and to those who wanted to learn something new when it comes to PowerPoint presentation. If you have any suggestions and comments, just write your comment down below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Teacher Da, signing off. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.